Question 31. A variable plane is at a constant distance p from the origin and meets the axis in a, b and c. Show that the locus of the centroid of the tetrahedron o, a, b, c is x raised to minus 2 plus y raised to minus 2 plus z raised to minus 2 is equal to 16 p raised to minus 2. So this is a very similar question to the, uh, to the one we did uh, just before. Question 30. So here we have a variable plane which is at a constant distance p from the origin and meets the axis in a, b, c. So first we will assume uh, a, b, a, 0, 0 and b, b, 0, b, 0 and c, b, 0, 0, c. Now uh, a plane that passed through these three points is given by the equation x by a plus x by a plus y by b plus z by c equal to 1. So if you are not familiar with this uh, formula, you can simply derive this formula from starting from the standard formula which is standard normal form of a plane which is lx plus my plus nz equal to p and from here you can apply these three points to this equation and derive this formula. So I have derived this formula in the previous questions so you, you can refer those questions I think it is question 30 uh, uh, sorry uh, 27 uh, something let me just This is that uh, in 27 question 27 I have derived this equation you can just check this if you are not familiar with the equation so going back to the original question uh, so this is our equation let's call this equation 1 now this represent a plane that pass through these three points uh, and we are given that the this plane is at a constant distance p from the origin so how uh, so how can we um, we can if we are given a plane ax plus by plus dz plus d equal to 0, the distance from the point x1, y1, z1 to this plane is given by ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 plus d by root of a square plus b square plus c square. This is the distance, distance from this point to this plane. We are going to use this formula uh, here. So the distance p is given by since it's from origin origin to this plane point is 0 0 0 so when you apply this formula you can see that uh, it this becomes minus 1 d here is minus 1 by root of a square which is 1 by a 1 by a square plus 1 by b square plus 1 by c square or if you inverse and square we get 1 by p square equal to 1 by a square plus 1 by b square plus 1 by c square so let's call this equation 2 now we have this relation now they are asking for show that the locus of the centroid of the tetrahedron o a b c o being the origin so centroid of tetra tetrahedron O A B C is given by zero plus A plus zero plus zero by four and zero plus zero plus B plus zero by four zero plus zero plus by 4. This is the centra tetrahedron. So if we have three points like this, the square a1, b1, 
a2 b2 a3 b3 c3 and a4 b4 c4 we have such a tetrahedron center root is given by a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 by 4 b1 plus b2 plus b3 plus b4 by 4 and c1 plus c2 plus c3 by plus c4 by 4 we have used that equation so we will get the equation as a by 4 the points as b by 4 and c by 4 now we know uh, we want to find the locus of this point so x is x is equal to a by 4 and y equal to b by 4 and z is equal to c by 4 or we can write a is equal to 4 b equal to 4 y and c is equal to 4 uh, z now we can use this relationship equation 2 and these 3 y we can find a relation between x y z eliminating all all other variables so using 2, 3, 4, and 5, we get 1 by p square is equal to by a square. a square is 4. Uh, sorry. Hmm. We can take 16 to the other side. So, and in p raise to minus 2 x raised to y plus y raised to y. We, are uh, we multiply throughout by 16 and uh, uh, we wrote 1 by p square as p raised to minus 2. So this is the required equation of the locus. So these are the steps and this is the solution to question 31. If you have any doubt, do comment under the video. Thank you.